If you like horror, hit that notification bell, smash that like button, and push that subscribe button now. What's the boogie man? Hello, is it me? <laughs> Welcome to my nightmare. We want the man who did this. Welcome to Nick Push's Horror Channel. Hey, what's up everyone, and welcome back to my brand new Connection series, where I'm going to find a way to connect Halloween ends to each and every movie in the Halloween franchise. I've done Halloween 4 already. Today, if you couldn't tell by the title, we're doing Halloween Resurrection. So I'm not going in order. I think it's going to be more fun just to bounce around to different movies. Um, and I'll say from the get-go, I said it in the last video, I'm going to say it again. I'm just having some fun here. I'm thinking outside the box. In no way am I saying that these movies uh, should connect to Halloween ends because most of them wouldn't make any goddamn sense. And to be honest, we don't want Resurrection, the arguably worst movie in the franchise, connecting to Halloween ends. Unless, you know, Halloween ends will take the mantle from that, uh, then we'll see. Um, so yeah, um, before we get into it, because we're doing Halloween Resurrection, I do want to mention uh, my friend Bud from the Shape of Horror podcast. You guys should know him. He's been on my channel numerous times. Uh, tomorrow night, Sunday, the 21st of August, he is doing a Halloween Resurrection trivia night. Um, been doing every movie in the franchise. I've been involved with this. It is a lot of fun. I would encourage you guys to go check that out. I'll put a link to Bud's channel in the description in case you don't know about it. Uh, it's called The Shape of Horror Podcast, and these trivia nights have been a lot of fun, a lot of interacting, um, and it's a great time, so I'd encourage you to check it out. You know, you don't even have to watch Resurrection. Just go by memory. It, it, it's all for fun. But let's get right into it, guys. Before we do that, though, comment down below if, if you guys would want a part of Halloween Resurrection to be kind of called back or used in Halloween Ends, tell me in the comments what you would use. Uh, believe it or not, there are options for all the movies in this franchise. Some are better than others, obviously, uh, but I'm gonna give you my top five ways they could do it, starting with number five, and it's a good one. Number five is gonna be Allison, after the encounter with Myers in 2018. Allison is taking self-defense classes, right? She might be a little angrier. She lost her parents. So she's like, I got to prepare for Myers. So she is taking self-defense classes. And it just so happens to be Kung Fu, just like Mr. Busta Rhymes. So Allison taking Kung Fu classes. I know it's ridiculous, guys. Um, but some type of self-defense like that could make sense. So that is at my number five. Number four is going to be, we saw in the trailer what looked like Myers in the sewer, right? Halloween Resurrection, they had kind of in the basement of the Myers house or whatever. Uh, that little, it was like a little sewer access. So maybe there's some type of sewer access where Myers is down in the sewer and he's still going back into his house once in a while um, in the basement or something uh, for some nostalgic reasons. Uh, so the sewer, they could find a way to weave in a little bit of Resurrection flavor um, with that, and that is my number four. Number three, it's probably the most obvious one, maybe, um, but number three is gonna be having two people in a Myers mask at the same time. Obviously, we got the Corey Cunningham situation. We don't know if he's actually gonna be using the real Myers mask. I don't. I doubt it, but you never know. Um, but if he's not, if he's got some type of replica that he made or found or whatever, um, you know, we could have Michael in his mask, Corey in his Myers mask, and, you know, we could see them on screen together. It could be a cool scene. Speaking of cool scenes, not. We have the Halloween resurrection scene with Busta wearing the Myers mask and Myers in the same scene. Holy fuck. Halloween ends? There's no way they could, there's no way they could do worse with this scene, right? There's no way. I'm Michael Myers! Oh, God. God. <laughs> yeah. Um, Halloween ends better not do something like that. Um, and I don't think they will. Um, that's one thing I have confidence in. They're not going to disrespect the character of Myers like Halloween Resurrection did in that scene. That was god-awful. That was just a 
slap in the face to Myers, slap in the face to us. Now I'm ranting. Let's move on to number two. Number two is going to be killing off Lori Strode. It could do it early like Resurrection or just killing her off in general. Um, would be, I don't want to call it a callback to Resurrection, but it would be what happened in Resurrection. Now, do I think if she dies, she's going to be kissing Myers, saying, I'll see you in hell as she flies off a building? Probably not. Maybe she falls off the bridge or the radio tower. I know, I know, guys, I know. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, killing off Lori would be something that happened in Resurrection that theoretically could happen in Halloween Ends. And my number one way they could connect these movies or have some type of flavor something with the two movies would be obviously in Halloween Resurrection they have um, people wearing cameras in the Myers house on Halloween night, right? So we could do something like that in Halloween Ends but not have that early 2000s flavor, have you know the flavor of 2022, right? So maybe there is a famous YouTuber named Nick Push who goes there on Halloween night and live streams from his phone, going just around the Myers house, you know? Um, maybe that is the twist of this movie. Maybe I keep making all these ends videos, guys, because I'm in the movie and I'm marketing myself. It's a little, that's the twist I've been talking about. Um, but no, that, that would be cool um, to see some YouTuber live streaming from there. We don't know if the house is going to be lived in or what at this point, but it would be realistic for something like that to happen, especially with like true crime shit and, and all that stuff that, that's popular now. So that is my number one way that could tie, you know, in a, in, in a way, tie these movies together. So like I said, tell me down in the comments how you would tie them together, and I'll see you guys for the next one.